Hello and welcome to the Weekend Investing Daily Bite of 19th of August and wishing a very happy Raksha Bandhan to call viewers. The markets were absolutely flat and uh, tentative despite uh, opening in the green. Um, the news from overseas market is positive, but somehow our market is not able to really pick up the lead again. In today's uh, uh, Daily Bite, we will discuss how perform better outside Nifty. So whenever stocks come into Nifty, somehow the performance goes for a toss. And when they get out of Nifty, they start performing again. This is some magic, black magic that happens. We'll discuss more about this later. First, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Where the markets are headed. So we had a very nice uh, pickup in the markets on the previous session. And uh, today, while we didn't go down, we didn't, couldn't go up either, although we were in a very nice gap. And I was expecting that at least this gap to get filled today, but it hasn't. But nevertheless, I mean, we've consolidated near the previous close, which was a very nice big candle. So from that point of view, even a flat market for a day or two is all right. Uh, we are definitely above two-day high uh, uh, from last time, and we're continuing that, like plus 1.13%. Plus 0.13%. I mean, I'm not complaining. We are just a stone's throw from all time high as well. Uh, in terms of the broader market, uh, Nifty Junior did much better, 0.59%. Uh, it has covered this gap at least and is now in line with the uh, 2nd August uh, candle. Uh, the weakness in Nifty Junior has been taken care of. And again, we are now within a couple of thousand points of the new high. Mid caps and small caps look even better than uh, Nifty. Uh, you have uh, mid caps again challenge this resistance uh, near 21,500, up uh, quarter percent today, and small caps actually closing in the green. Actually, small caps were the best looking chart uh, amongst all indices. Uh, gap up and then going up further and virtually closing this uh, gap here at 1.53%. So, small caps have really uh, picked up the lead. And small caps probably are going to be the first ones to break into a new high. Bank Nifty is still selling uh, 50,368. It is not able to move beyond this consolidation, much lower than this 40-day uh, moving average, and also not able to you know cross this trend line and go higher. So Bank Nifty is the the uh, sort of uh, uh, index which is pull, pulling or pushing the uh, markets down. Momentum trends. Uh, Number of stocks trading above uh, 20 moving average. When we see this last week, this is continuously going up. So 43% stocks are now above 20 moving average, up 55% above 50 moving, 22% above 100 moving average. So last seven sessions, you can see there has been a market uh, uptick in all these different uh, uh, yeah, moving averages in terms of number of stocks, and hence the Yes, of the markets of uh, uh, the uh, CNX 500 is actually moving up, and that is a good sign. Uh, in the advanced declines, also you can see the last two sessions the declines have overpowered the this one. The advances have overpowered the declines, and that is a good sign, which is a change of trend from the previous three sessions where declines were much much higher. Uh, in today's heat map, you can see that it's a mixed bag of DCS, ONGC, Coal India, uh, Tata Consumer. All these uh, stocks have done well. Uh, you also have Mahindra and Mahindra losing ground at 2.65%, the most actually amongst all stocks. And ICC Bank, Access Bank uh, also down to some extent. Sorry, this was Tata Steel. Uh, Tata Motors, Maruti, Bajaj Auto, Bharti Airtel also losing some ground, but Energy stocks, ONGC, Coal India, BPCL, all in the green. And then Nifty, next 50 heat map, you have Dani Green. One of beverages after a long time, a big uh, up move at plus 6%. You had Trent up 2.8%, IOC up 1.7%, Vedanta and uh, Jindal Steel also doing up very well. They are started doing very well. Bank of Baroda, PNB, so PSU banks, Canada Bank doing well, although other banks, private banks not doing so well. They are surprisingly down 1.12%. Uh, stock brokerage houses have uh, upped their targets for this stock. So there may be some uh, pent up uh, buying that will come later. Sectoral trends so you had metals leave their rally at 1.9%. Uh, energy stocks were up 1.3%. Commodities, PSU banks, public sector enterprise stocks all up 
पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट फार्मा ऑनवर्ड वी हैड वर्चुअली नो मूवमेंट ऑटोज वर दंस दैट रियली सॉर्ट ऑफ डाउन सो ए डाउन ग्रेड टू डेट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट सो फॉर द वीक गोन बाय यू हैव आई टी आउट परफॉर्मिंग द रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टॉक्स एंड सेक्टर्स एट प्लस फाइव पॉइंट फोर परसेंट एंड दर्स परफॉर्मिंग है प्राइवेट बैंकिंग एट माइनस हाफ परसेंट रेस्ट एक्चुअली फॉर द पास्ट वीक आर जस्ट फ्लैट विद इन प्लस और माइनस वन परसेंट uh these were the stocks uh, that were doing well within the metal space so hindalco nalco vedanta dindal steel and copper all doing very well it has the the taking support here and has moved up 1.87% so good sectoral performance uh, right in the metal space kaplan point lag is the major mover in terms of stocks today plus 16.4% what i'm saying is that a lot of mid cap pharma stocks have started to do well and are really doing well this stock Which ever which was languishing between 2018 and 2023 has suddenly picked up in the last year and has virtually tripled from its base at 600. So coming back to the story, stocks performed better outside Nifty. So some statistics to note is total stocks replaced 31 Nifty stocks uh, have been replaced in the last 10 years. So first thing to note here is that Nifty itself is a very dynamic. Uh, Index where stocks will keep giving change. So there's the Nifty not a static index, and over a ten-year period, thirty-one Nifty stocks have been changed. Uh, so it is sort of a momentum strategy in itself, where winners are allowed to run and losers are kept closed. So that is the first thing to note. But when you are buying Nifty, holding Nifty ETF uh, or any mutual fund or anything Nifty, you are actually investing in a in a, in a momentum uh, fund of sorts. Because the the constitution of Nifty is determined by the market caps, and if the if the price of a stock continues to go up, the market cap goes up, and they are they are retained in the Nifty. Uh, what has happened is that the investments, the outgoing stocks of Nifty, have outperformed the incoming stocks two out of three times in the past year. So the stocks that go into Nifty versus the stocks that come out of Nifty, the ones that come out of Nifty are High probability that they are going to do well, and the ones that go into Nifty are high probability that they will not do so well. So uh, stocks that have come out of Nifty, um, these are these stocks, uh, and and they have done phenomenally well. Uh, you know, in terms of percentage gain from the date at which they were exited, and stocks that were included in Nifty 50, uh, they have not done so well uh, in terms of. Uh, their performance some have done well like Bajaj Finance, Aisha Motors, but nothing like you know when once they get exploded. This is ED uh, IG database that I'm quoting. So for instance, uh, United Spirits uh, uh, exit uh, in September 2014, and you can see that you know United Spirits takes off and Z replaces it. It does well for some time, but then it just collapses on them. 2017, Bank of Baroda got exited. Bank of Baroda initially went down, but then really picked up in a big way. Uh, UPL replaced Bank of Baroda. It stayed virtually flat. Uh, March 22, IUCL exited. Uh, after some time of exit, IUCL IUCL did, did really well. Uh, Apollo Hospital replaced it. In comparison, did not do so well. So why does this happen? Uh, my gut feel on this is that. Uh, before I say gut feel, I, I I think this is something that I can't explain. I mean, I I myself I'm I'm bewildered with this phenomenon. But I think what happens, if I were to make a guess, is that when the stock comes into Nifty, when they're in Nifty Junior and they come into Nifty, it is at that stage itself, you know, a few months before they come into Nifty, that is a significant discounting the future happens on these stocks. So a number of Uh, funds flow into these stocks ahead of them moving into Nifty. So when they move into Nifty, they are already priced to the sky, and and then you know it takes a long time before they can really outperform uh, the index because they they will be you know discounted. I don't know how many years of uh, earnings and and potential. Now when stocks get out of Nifty, they are usually weak, and uh, all the selling that needs to be done in those stocks probably will happen even before they exit Nifty. Because you know in advance what stocks are going to go out of Nifty, you know in advance what stocks are going to come into Nifty, and you know this 
in shoes time and fund focus goes away a lot of arbitrage that is happening on these stocks also stops in because there's a lot of funds which only been arbitrage on uh on on nifty stocks so there is no volatility in the next 50 stocks uh versus the nifty and and before stocks go from nifty next 50 to nifty and after they come down from nifty to next 50 in good situation nifty next 50 enjoys the movement and that we have seen in in, in uh, strategies like the nf10 and the nifty next 50 in the success how wonderfully when it performs versus nifty so this uh, strong swing to nifty is over researched over positioned uh, too much uh, open interest uh, it kills the natural movement of the stock maybe and that's the reason why you know stocks that come out of nifty have been performing very well but i could very well be wrong on this what is your take on this do let me know uh, it will be a great discussion to have in the comments but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye